Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized that today's episode is the 50th episode for this podcast. That is such an amazing accomplishment. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in and listening to this. If it wasn't for you, this wouldn't be possible. And so thank you so much. Today's a celebration day. Yay! 50th episode. Let's go. Hi, I'm Stephanie Wainwright. I'm a wife, a mom, a business owner, and my life is chaotic all the time. So I created this podcast to help you find the funny, the good, while navigating through the chaos. This is Chaotic Compass Podcast. Okay, what is up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Stephanie here, solo again. It's kind of my jam now. I'm all by myself. Oh, by myself. A little karaoke starting off this episode with. So thanks for tuning in. Today's episode is going to be chaotic and random because I don't actually have a point. I just need to bitch and sip. And I know that's why you're here. So with that being said, let's talk about the drama from today. So my daughter uh, has been feeling a little, little sicky poo, you know, a little congested, got a sore throat, a little bit of a cough. So I take her in. Apparently her brother, her other brother, her dad's youngest child, uh, had been diagnosed with the flu on Tuesday. So I assume that that's what it was. And so we went in there today, waited for ever. I think we were in there for two and a half hours, almost three. It was brutal. So we were there for ever and literally just checked her out, did a RSV, flu, A and B test, did a COVID test and did a strep test. She gets strep all the time. It's ridiculous how much she gets strep. And so I was like, why don't, while we're here, let's just go ahead and knock that out. You said your your throat was sore. Let's just go ahead and knock that out. They're like, okay, we'll tell you about the strep test, but we'll call you with the results of the other ones. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I was wrong. So she doesn't have strep. I was wrong. And she doesn't have the flu either. She has fucking COVID. How does this chick get COVID twice? I don't know. But she has COVID again. And she was bawling. It was the end of the world. I'm telling you. So she has COVID. And we were supposed to do things with grandparents this weekend. So like now she's in quarantine. And because I was around her, I don't want to go around other people. And so, so yeah, that's a thing. My daughter has COVID again. Yay for that. Bitchin' and sippin' today. Normally, my schedule is I'll get the kids on the bus. Ryan leaves earlier. And Ryan will get the kids off of the bus. This has been a source of contention. So tell me, tell me, am I the asshole here? This is, maybe this should be the segment, right? Okay, am I the asshole? Yesterday, my husband signed up to be the chaperone for his daughter's field trip. They're going to the Mariners Museum there in Newport News. My husband was more excited about that shit than any of those third graders. Homies down to learn about some boat shit. Okay, we're just gonna take a little sippy poo for that one. Homie was so fucking excited. And so he took the day off, quote, quote, to do that. He's an entrepreneur. He's able to do that. He can do whatever the fuck he wants, pretty much, as long as his bills are paid, right? Side note, on Monday, Stephanie's got a lot of problems with Ryan. And so Stephanie was making it known of the problems that she was having with her husband, but he wasn't getting billable hours. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. So flash to Wednesday when the husband is taking the day off is now trying to figure out, okay, so how many billable hours could I possibly work in to get the hours that I missed on Monday? This guy, okay? Like, all right, 
cool. You do you. But it's like, oh, now you're going to work in the morning and the afternoon to try to get the time in. And so it was like, okay, okay, here we are. We're going to have this argument again. It's no longer about you work in the mornings and then I work in the afternoons because I'm the morning shift with the kids and you're the afternoon shift. Now you're trying to make up for the billable hours you missed out on. Well, what about the things that I missed out on on Monday? Even though they're not billable hours, they are what the things I do are what makes the needle move to be able to get paid, to be able to make the world go round. Okay. I had a problem with him trying to get billable hours in the morning and billable hours in the afternoon. Fast forward to that evening, he straight up asks me. At this point, I knew my daughter was sick and I was going to have to take time today. So this was last night, the conversation. I knew, he knew, I was going to have to take time today to take my daughter to the doctor. At the time, we didn't know it was going to take hours because I thought I was going to be able to get in to see her regular pediatrician, but that didn't work out. And so here I am at the quick dock in a box waiting a few hours today. So, but he knew last night that I had to do payroll today and take my daughter to the doctor. I'm already happening to get the kids on the bus. He has the audacity to ask me, well, what is your schedule like tomorrow? Talking about today. Are you available in the afternoon to get the kids off the bus? Well, I'm getting the kids on the bus tomorrow and I've got to take my daughter to the doctor. So my day has been significantly shortaged by bullshit. So am I the asshole for losing my shit on my husband for having the audacity to ask me if I have the availability to cover the shift in the afternoon? It's like that dick employee that took off for his kids, whatever, and then he's got a doctor's appointment the next day, or he's taken off all this time while you are covering them shifts. You have been asked numerous times by either that employee or by management to cover their shifts, and you do it because you're just a good sucker of a human being. And then the one day where you're like, hey, I just need some help here because I need to get some shit done. And they ask for more from you. Am I the asshole? Just tell me, please. If I am the asshole, I'll back down. But I really, I just really feel like I'm not the asshole here. I told my husband when he decided that we were going to be daddy daycare over here at the house that it was going to be a source of contention and here we are this is the fourth month and it is a very much source of contention because I feel like I can't get shit done I don't know what if it's looking like this in December I have no idea what this is going to look like in May and in June Kids are out half of June, July, and August, and it is what it is, and we'll just fucking figure it out. But I don't know what it's going to look like in May when it's stupid crazy with the call volume. Me happening to be up at 6 to or before 6 to answer the phone by 6, I don't know what that looks like. And if we're having a fucking problem now, I know for a fact, we're going to have a fucking problem then. So let's just move on from this. Just tell me if I'm the asshole in the subject. So we've got COVID, potentially an asshole among us. We have a little bit of a craziness going on. So this week, my husband wrote on the calendar in very light pencil that my stepson, Gary, had a chorus concert on Tuesday this week. Didn't write a time, just wrote Gary's course concert. Okay, so there's that. 
And then um, not only did I fucking forget about it, it's literally Tuesday evening and Tuesdays are our date nights and I fucking look forward to that. I look forward to a kid free evening. Okay, just just saying, just saying. Maybe I'm the asshole in that portion too, but I look forward to a kid free evening. Okay, Tuesday is that. Tuesday is a consistency for that. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get in the shower real quick. And then, you know, hopefully we, I'm like, wow, why are you such in a hurry to go to date night? And I was like, I don't even know where we're going tonight. And he was like, we're going, I was like, oh shit, it's Gary's thing. Oh shit. Okay. All right. I'm like, fuck. All right. What time does that start? And he literally looks at me like, I don't know. What time does it start? Hold up. Wait a second. I don't know. I don't get the emails from your kid's teacher. Maybe you should check with your ex-wife. How the fuck am I supposed to know? I literally just got added to pick up your kids from the school, much less be involved in the email correspondence back and forth from their teachers. So I don't know. Stop asking me questions. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. My ex-wife says it's at seven. It's it's fine. And she's going to be there early. It's going to save us seats. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Do you know if it's going to be just the sixth graders or is it going to be like all of middle school? I don't know. Ended up being all of the middle school kids and high school. Every motherfucking chorus kid in in this section of the school district that's what was up it was a fuck ton of kids and a fuck ton of kids it was literally like their kids parents grandparents baby there was tons like there was this one baby that was losing their fucking shit in the middle of it like I couldn't even hear the chorus students singing because this kid was screaming higher than that it's like what the fuck kid like I'm not trying to shame your mom, but maybe she needs to, like, escort you out of here and, you know, because I can't even hear myself think. And it wasn't like the kid was, like, right behind me. It was in the next section over. What the fuck? And there were several, several tiny humans. Like, not just children, like tiny, tiny humans, like my nephew's 18 months size up in here. This chorus concert started at seven and ended at eight. My nephew is in bed between seven and seven thirty. Just saying, I understand if you don't have a babysitter and this is the only option for you, but bring some snacks, shove some food in their mouth, and then they can't scream. Just saying. See, apparently I am the asshole. It's fine. I mean, just, you know what? You don't even have to answer that question from before. I am the asshole. So the communication level there was very no. Then fast forward to Wednesday, this week, yesterday. Apparently, apparently Gary needed to, my steps needed to stay after yesterday for some chorus thing. Gary gets off of the bus. I'm thinking everything's cool. He comes in. He's like, hey, did dad get the voicemail that I left him? Okay, one, I'm not in charge of your father's voicemail system. It doesn't work like that. So I don't know. I haven't seen your father. So you might want to ask him when you see him. Oh, cool. Well, it was just saying that my chorus... Um, rehearsal this afternoon got canceled and so I was gonna be home on time I'm like oh cool you're here I'm so glad you're here when my husband gets home I ask him and he's like oh fuck yeah so that was a thing but it really isn't a thing because he's here and I'm like what if he actually did have to stay after school that day Hmm? Hmm? I would be fucking panicking Kid gets off the bus at 3.20. Homie takes 10 minutes to walk down the road, which I don't know what's up with that, but it is what it is. He's in the door by 3.30. It would be 3.45, 4 o'clock. I'm freaking the fuck out thinking this bus done went to the other end of our county and not understanding where this kid is. And he'd be like, oh yeah, he told me he was going to stay after Oh yeah, 
I forgot to punch you in the dick because you were an asshole today. Let me just go ahead and round about that. Just give it a little good. Okay, because that's a dick move to forget to inform the person that's going to be watching your child of their whereabouts. Thank God it worked out. <sighs> right, 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 right. Totally worked out. Mm -hmm. Communication. Yes. Yes, source of contention this week. Let's just forget about the very important things that we need to tell your wife, you know, because she's the one that's in it to win it with you. Literally the person that's supposed to be on your side. Let's just forget to tell her. So this is why I drink. Let me just take a sip of I'm drinking rum and coke as well as other things. So this is why I drink. That's why you're here. You, you're, you're not here to listen to me, bitch and sip. You're, you're here to hear about cool, new, awesome ciders, right? This week's is Lost Boy Cider, right? These are cute. These, um, this one is um, called the Comeback Kid. They have a few different flavors, so definitely going to try them all. Um, except for like there's a habanero one. I'm going to I'm gonna not get from like I don't want to be a fire breathing dragon just to sip some cider. So Lost Boy Cider Comeback Kid is the flavor. Um, it's a dry cider. So I don't know about the dry ciders, but I got it. And we're going to start here. 6.9% alcohol. It's a 12 ounce can. And to read a little bit about what they are. Their flagship cider is a sugar-free example using a perfect balance of acid and sweetness achieved through a slow fermentation using freshly pressed Virginia heritage apples and wine yeast. See, I'm not a big wine person, so I don't know about this already. This cider is naturally gluten-free and 100% juice, never from concentrate. The tart finish should be smooth and slightly sweet. Enjoy it ice cold with people you care about. Well, I'm solo tonight. So the Lost Boys Ciders <laughs> joke's on you. So here we go. It's actually a pop top tonight. So there you go. Right in the mic. All right. Oh, it's from Alexandria, Virginia. So cheers to that. Get a little... Look at that. It's so cute. Looks like... um. Kind of looks like uh, Peter Pan-esque, but not. I don't know. So let's try it out. Cheers to you guys. Okay, so after drinking rum and coke, that is tart. Okay, maybe I should have not. Let's, let's, let's cleanse the palate. Let's try again. Okay, it's not horrible. Definitely got that dry finish to it, like a champagne. Like a, like a really weird, like a, not like a sweet champagne. Not horrible. Definitely, I'm going to look at the other ones and see if there's a, a semi-sweet. I think if it was a little bit sweeter, I think that I would totally dig this. So it's not horrible. And I appreciate that it's from a Virginia. So I'm here for all the local cider. So, so check them out, guys. Lost Boy Cider. So here it is. That's what I got today bitching and sipping. I am having a hard time with my husband. I'm having a hard time with all the illnesses out there. I'm having a hard time with being a entrepreneur mom. I'm having a hard time. And everybody's like, oh my God, you act like you got it together. And no, nobody says that. No, I'm just joking. No, nobody says, oh my God, you look like you got it together. No, everybody knows I'm a hot mess because I dress like the Like I've got shit on my shirt. I don't even know. It's not even, it's not even my shirt. It's my husband. I stole this. I just, I'm cold. I've got layers. I've got a long sleeve. I've got a short sleeve and then another long sleeve on that. And then I got a sweatshirt on that. Like I'm cold. I don't want to be cold anymore. I'm over fucking winter. It hasn't even gotten to officially winter. Ooh, and, and let's, another thing to bitch about. They've got snow in the forecast. No. Can I just say I hate winter? I hate it. I hate being cold. I hate having to deal with snow or frost 
or having to defrost my car to take my kids to wherever the fuck they need to go. I hate going outside, have to layer up the audacity, literally just to put my kid on the bus yesterday morning. I had to mm -hmm. yoga pants, my Duluth big cargo pants on top of that. I had a long john shirt, a t-shirt over that, a sweatshirt over that. I had my big nice winter jacket. I had a hat. I had real socks, like thick wool socks that my mother-in-law gave me because she's always fearful that I'm cold. I am, but I choose not to go outside. And the only thing that I was missing is gloves and I thought that might be too much. Okay. Just to get my kids on the bus. I'm literally out there looking like a marshmallow. I don't want to look like a marshmallow at the bus stop. Like, there's nobody to judge me except for the three kids that live down the street and their grandmother. But, like, she's already annoyed because it's the daughter. There's one girl and there's twin boys. And she's already annoyed that she's there. And she's done, like, having to discipline. The boys are always constantly, like, at it. It's a competition of who's better. And it's like, you're your twins so but yeah so it's gonna snow next week and um I refuse I refuse to go outside I don't want to I don't want to do that I don't want to be that person if you love snow I don't like you if you're like yay snow and yay like precipitation in the winter when it's cold what is wrong with your soul like is it a little bit dead inside like you you enjoy being cold you enjoy having to go outside like a marshmallow just to do I don't want to see the kids will go outside I don't I don't do that I don't go outside I refuse I might help layer them up and help de-layer them when they come inside. No, I'm that mom that's sipping hot cocoa. Well, let's face it. There's something in that drink that I'm drinking. As I'm drinking it, watching them from the window as they beat the shit out of each other with cold snow. And then come in and bitch, be like, oh my god, somebody threw this shit in my face. And I'm like, then don't be outside. Don't do it, bitching and sipping, y'all. Bitch and a sippin'. I'm glad that you are here and that you made it to the end of this episode because I had no agenda today. I literally was like, I'm getting on here and I'm going to just word vomit because this is my coping mechanism with life. And if you can relate to anything that I, I said, thank you. Thank you. You're my people. Thank you. And I appreciate you and your camaraderie. I appreciate you. With all of that being said, thank you guys for tuning in and have a great night. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate all of your love and support. If you really love today's episode, you should subscribe. And if you subscribe, then you get notifications of when my next episode launches. So Another way to be super awesome would be to leave a rating and review or recommend it to your friends and family. If you're wicked awesome, you've already done all three. Another way to keep up with me and my crazy family is check out my website at chaoticcompass.com and I do blog and other stuff there. So I appreciate everything for you guys. I do this for you. So keep it up because the more you subscribe, the more I do.